and good afternoon. Welcome back. This is Trish from Networks Computer Solutions here and today we'll be looking at part two of our series on Google Docs in 10 minutes or less. So what we're going to look at today is how you can make a quiz using Google Slides. It's a little bit different to what most people use PowerPoint presentations for. Um, so we'll look at how you can link both slides and also shapes within your presentation. And we'll also have a look at the different presentation and sharing options. So jump on over to Google Drive. If you haven't got Drive, this is a free program that you get with your Google account. So if you've got Gmail, you already have Drive. Once you're logged in, you can click on the grid of nine dots over here, and that will show you to all the apps. So we're just in the Drive at the moment. Once you're in Drive, this will show you all the files and folders and things that you've stored in your account. So click on New and we're going to go to Google Slides. So last week we had a look at how you can make a basic presentation and we had a look at the design options. So I'm just going to select a design and we're going to um, create a little quiz today. So type in the name of your quiz. And then we're going to add a new slide. So you can add a new slide by clicking the Add New Slide button. <coughs> and I'm just going to call this slide Question 1. Now down in the text field, we'll, what we will need to do is we'll need to add either two images or two shapes for our question. So we're going to write our question first. Of course, do you like coffee or tea? And then you can either draw a shape by using the shape option here. But what I might do is I might import an image. And I'm just going to search the web. And we'll do a search for coffee first. And I'm just going to resize that image and drag it over a bit. And now we'll insert that image of a cup of tea. So search the web again and we'll go tea. So again, resize. And we'll need to get these two images roughly the same size so it looks a bit more just a little bit more. And I might move that over a bit, give us a little bit more room. Okay, so now we'll need to add another slide. We'll actually need to have all slides. So we need to have our question slide, which is this one. We'll need to have our correct answer slide, and we'll need to have an incorrect answer slide, and we'll need a next question slide. Okay, so this particular slide I'm going to call copy, and we might just insert a picture again. So let's see if we can copy this image here. So Control C on the keyboard, go back to the slide, Control V, and I'm going to enlarge that slide a bit, maybe put it over here. Maybe we'll enlarge even more. Okay, 
Okay, so now we'll need a slide for T. So again, we'll copy that one of the T parts, so Control C to copy. Come back to the T slide. And we'll paste that one in Control and D. And we'll enlarge that picture. be me if I didn't make a spelling mistake. Okay, so our next slide will need to have this one for question two. Right, so we might come back and ask another question for that one. Now there's a few more things that we will need to do. Under this one we'll need to add another button that goes to next question. So we're going to go to shape and then we're going to insert, I'm going to add rounded Corners, I think. A rectangle with rounded corners. And I'm just going to hold the left mouse down and drag that one out. Um, and I might change the colour of that one. I might change it to an orange. And then we'll add some text. Right click and go edit text. And this is going to type in the next question. Now that's a little bit hard to see on the orange, so I'm going to change the colour of the writing. So over here under the A, I might change that to a white, and we'll also change the alignment to the centre. Okay, so under here, actually we might copy that. Control copy and it will paste that in under here as well. Okay, so let's have a look at our presentation. We've got question one, do you like tea or coffee? Coffee is great, next question, and then tea is also nice, next question. What we need to do now is to make these little but and buttons. So, but we also need to make sure that when they click on this picture, it jumps to the coffee slide. If they click on the teapot, it jumps to the tea slide, and this is the coffee one. So let's have a look at how we can do that. We can see that the coffee is slide number three. So let's do that for a start. Click on the coffee. And we're going to go hyperlink. Now we need to choose slides in this presentation. And we need it to go down. If we scroll down, we can choose the slide that has the word copy on it. Slide 3, copy. And then apply. This one of the T, we will need it to go to the teapot. Just adjust my resolution slightly. So this one here, we need it to go to the T. So insert hyperlink, slide in this presentation, and we'll need to slide that one down to slide four, which we're not going to be able to get to because this is actually hidden. So I might actually have to move my teapot up and then try the link again and then I can move it back down just to give us some more room. So I want it to go to slide 4, T and then apply and then I can drag it back down and into position. Okay, so let's go to this slide here. So what we'll need to do is to make this into a button and we want it to skip the T slide and go to the next slide which is called question 2 also slide number 5 so we might move it up for a little bit now and then we can move it back down again later so I'm going to insert a link slides in this presentation and I want it to go down to slide 5 
question two. Apply that. Move it back down again and also move this one back over to the right spot. And we'll need to do the same with the T. We'll need to make sure that this is a button. So we might drag it up out of the road a little bit. Insert link, slide from this presentation. Um, we wanted to go to slide five. Question two, apply. And now we can drag it back into position. Okay, so let's have a quick look at how our presentation looks now. If we come up here to the present button, we might scroll all the way up to the top so it starts from the start. We'll click on present and it opens up in a new screen. Copy a quiz, click on the screen. It says, do you like tea or coffee? So if I click on the coffee, it says, yes, coffee is great. Next question and it jumps to question two. I'll scroll back up to the start. Do you like coffee or tea? Click on the tea, then it should jump over to two, the next question. And then if we click on the next question button, it goes to question two. Okay, so that is one quick way that you can make a slide presentation slightly differently using the quiz. There are also other presentation options. If you were using this in an actual training um, um, idea so that you could actually do a quiz after a class. You can actually do that with, power, with the um, presentation software. But also on the present, you get some different options uh, under share. Name before uh, reading, we have to call it copy. I'm going to go save. And then you can actually share with groups and you can actually save it as a link. If we go copy link, we can actually email that to people. What you could do is you could also put this as a link onto your website and um, have people in your training click on that and it will go to, their, to your little video. Okay, we might leave it there for today. Next week, we're going to finish off the last of this series and we're going to be having a look at how you can import uh, Microsoft PowerPoint presentations into Google Slides. We'll also have a look at Slides Carnival. We might have a look at Canva presentations as well. And we'll also have a look at how you can add some gallery add-ons and use the built-in gallery template from Google Slides. So we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much and have a good afternoon. Bye.